Welcome to video number 19 in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGahey, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 80 countries on six continents. Video number 18, Tourism Values, Philosophy, and Vision, covered part one of the foundation components. Now let's begin part two, which is three separate videos, starting with video number 19, Tourism Policy. Tourism policy is government-led and provides the guidelines and legal framework for building a tourism industry that will realize the destination's tourism vision. It will be followed by video number 20, Tourism Planning, which is a joint public-private sector effort that lays out the programs and activities that need to be accomplished to achieve the destination's goals. And then comes video number 21, Tourism Development, which consists of mostly private sector entrepreneurial activities that create the majority of facilities and services that cater to tourists. Tourism policy provides a conceptual basis, direction, and rules by which the tourism industry is planned, developed, promoted, managed, and operated. It includes the establishment of enabling legislation, regulations, and licensing. It is also the driving force behind the creation of the goals, strategies, and objectives within tourism master plans and development projects and the programs of tourism-related agencies, as well as their directives, standard operating procedures, approval processes, and enforcement actions. This seemingly abundance of governance criteria is designed to promote the best interest of all of tourism stakeholders by providing them with a common and consistent framework for decision-making and consensus building. Policy comes from the same root word as politics and refers to governance. Every group endeavor that features some degree of cooperation and competition must have a set of rules to govern the behavior and action of its participants in order for them to work towards a desired outcome. Casino games such as poker and blackjack and sports such as football and horse racing all have rules. The same is true in the business world, including the tourism industry. Organizations of people from investment companies to owners and managers and all the other stakeholders impacted by tourism development and operations need to know what the rules are, how they will be enforced, and the penalties for non-compliance. Tourism policy is that broader set of rules that governs the overall conduct of the tourism industry within a destination for the purpose of realizing its tourism vision. Governments assume the lead role in the formulation of tourism policy. The basic reason is governments are supposed to look after the well-being of all their constituents. Laws and regulations and the policies they are built upon are supposed to be fair and equitable and in everyone's best interest. They must not be biased in support of certain groups of people or concepts that do not have the support of the people within their jurisdiction. So governments lead the collective effort on everyone's behalf with the input of other stakeholders. Tourism policies are approved by legislators and implemented by government agencies such as national tourism offices and other related agencies that govern many of the resources upon which tourism depends. These tourism agencies are often structured as public-private partnerships that give considerable implementation power to elected or appointed business and community leaders. Tourism policy formulation involves the examination and discussion of various models, studies, and inventories. It brings together all its stakeholders in a collaborative effort to achieve tourism goals within the broader perspective of other government policies. Some of these policies might conflict, such as land use or budget priorities. Tourism policy has the potential to affect virtually everything and everyone via its widespread economic, socio-cultural, and environmental impacts. The government's larger goals prevail, meaning that its tourism policy must be compatible with its broader economic, socio-cultural, and environmental policies. Although tourism policy is the government's responsibility, all of tourism stakeholders should be given an opportunity to play a role in its formulation through participation in legislative committee hearings and public hearings, and involve public media also disseminate information and provide an avenue for feedback. Tourism policy formulation takes place at the national, state, and local levels. At the state level, it is aligned with the national level. And at the local level, it is aligned with both the state and national levels. 
Lower levels add their own unique policy components as long as they do not conflict with their ability to support the goals of higher level policies. Tourism policy is implemented by government agencies in charge of various services and programs that intersect with tourism development and operations at their specific level of governance. Tourism policy is a vital foundation component of a successful, well-organized tourism industry. And since it includes enabling legislation and other basic laws and regulations, it is one of the first tasks of an emerging destination. Policy is not a static concept, though. Old policies and laws are often superseded by new updated ones that reflect changes in the external or internal environment. Much of the same effort and procedure go into keeping tourism policy current and relevant as was exercised in the original policy formulation. Old, out-of-date policies could well mean lost opportunities and lack of competitiveness for a destination's tourism industry. Tourism is a complex industry, so its policy has many specific components. Some examples are tourism taxation required to generate government revenue to help build necessary infrastructure and promote the destination to its source markets. Policies that encourage the use of local products and the training and education of local manpower to maximize tourism's economic multiplier effect and minimize its leakage. And policies that preserve the indigenous character of the destination and assure that its natural and cultural heritage is protected. Tourism policy also governs passports, visas, and other border controls that facilitate or impede tourism traffic. These and other components of tourism policy create a framework for tourism to develop and prosper within a destination by providing a clear idea of where it intends to go and what it intends to do to get there. Once tourism policy is in place, various policy goals, strategies, and objectives are formulated to provide planners with some form and substance. An example would be the goal of attracting more foreign tourists. The strategy would be to select target markets in certain parts of the world and develop marketing campaigns for each of them. And among the many objectives would be attend a travel fair in each source market and host a familiarization trip from each source market. Now I invite you to watch video number 20, Tourism Planning. Thank you.